Hi, I'm Warren Sprouse here on the Bible Forum. I want to talk to you about an event that took place in Washington, D.C. just last week. White House Chief um, of Staff, Mark Mulvaney, was at the National Catholic Prayer Breakfast Tuesday, April 23rd. And he declared that faith is what drives the Trump administration's policy proposals, arguing that, quote, the principles of our faith are being manifest on the, on, under the president's watch. Now keep in mind the National Catholic Prayer Breakfast is an offshoot of the original prayer breakfast, which was evangelical, and thereby not Catholic. They started their own. In attendance at the breakfast, a largely politically conservative religious gathering that meets annually in Washington, were two deputy assistants to President Trump. United States Ambassador for International Religious Freedom, Sam Brownback, and Representative Chris Smith from New Jersey. Mulvaney, who's Catholic, opened his talk with an anecdote about speaking several years ago at a prayer breakfast in his home state of South Carolina at the invitation of then Senator Jim DeMint. Mulvaney explained that as a novice to prayer breakfasts, he inadvertently chose to read a passage from the Gospel of Matthew in which Jesus encourages believers to pray in private, not in public. He said a priest later in interpreted the passage for him, arguing that it does not bar public prayer, but is part of Jesus' call to do the opposite of what is popular. Now, that's not what it means. <laughs> it means not to make prayer or any other religious behavior a showy event, meaning something to gain attention or respect. Let it be done in private. Does it mean it can't be done publicly, but be careful. The Trump administration's policy agenda, Mulvaney suggested, constitutes just that sort of unpopular but faithful action. The president has allowed us, Christians of all denominations, folks from all different faiths, to be very vocal about their faith and to practice their faith and to take their faith and work it into our policies, he said. Now, in terms of education, you need to know that Catholicism, and this is the Catholic prayer breakfast, Catholicism is not a faith system. They will tell you that it is, but it is not. And if you think about it for a minute, you'll understand exactly what I'm saying. It's a works system. Very little occurs as a result of faith in belief. For example, you must be baptized by the Roman Catholic Church, then confirmed, confirming that baptism into the Roman Catholic Church, and go to confession, telling another man your sins, before you can receive communion, another behavior, or you will not get to heaven. And only the Roman Catholic Church can get you a ticket to heaven. And even they don't guarantee it. They can only guarantee purgatory, where your sins may be purged through punishment and through the prayers of the saints on earth, again, as they light a candle and put some money on the plate. A very works-oriented system and that's why it's so popular. I try to explain this every time the topic comes up for a couple of reasons. One, it is not explained this way in the Roman Catholic Church. Just recently we had a gal who was shocked 
that I would say any of these kinds of things. I made a statement, oh, and then I went through it. Oh, my goodness. And secondly, it is the most critical element of Christianity, faith, not works. That heaven is not earned by human beings as a result of doing anything. Our access to God in prayer is not as a result of our works. It is bestowed upon those who through faith in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ, believing that he was paying the price for my sin. It's called a faith system because you must believe that what Jesus was doing was being done for you and for me and that there isn't anything else you or anyone can do. That's why it's called a faith system. Oh, and the do have a caveat. If a non-Catholic gets to heaven, it's because he or she would have been a Catholic had they only known it. They have the caveat built in. It's pretty much about them. 